Dancing with the Stars time now. Coming off a night like we've never seen before there. The Stars switch dance partners for the first time. And the new pairing is determined by viewer votes. Help scramble the leaderboard. Take a look. It was the night of the big partner switch up. So many stars forced out of their dancing comfort zones. This is going to be so interesting. Dancing with my daughter. Mac has never braided my hair. Val would know the answer. You know I'm not one to break promises. For Olympian Meryl Davis, it was a matter of switching Chemerkovsky brothers. She and Val own the night with their Argentine tango, taking home three tens, plus a gushing review from guest judge Julianne Hoff. I would love to dance like you. But there was no brotherly love when it came to Max, whose jive with Danica McKellar earned this review from Julianne. It felt like it was a little bit like you couldn't, it was like this week could get passed so that you could be back with Meryl and you just had to phone it in so you could That was back definitely with not the case, but thank you. The tension's still palpable when we spoke to the stars backstage. This is subjective activity. I've done this for 30 years. Uh, Julianne is too young to criticize me. But sometimes being older doesn't mean you're wiser. <laughs> and back in the ballroom, more drama. The judges came down hard on Olympian Charlie White for his rumba with PETA. No question you're a beautiful dancer, but that wasn't a rumba. But Real Housewife Nene Leakes had her best night yet, jazzing it up with Derek Huff. Nene is barking! There you go! Thank you, and Paralympian Amy Purdy didn't miss a beat of her salsa with new partner Mark Ballas. You continue to astonish me. You really do. And the best news of all, there were no eliminations Monday night. Dancers beware, next week someone is going home. Wow. So, so even though they had time to rehearse with their new partner, that can't be easy to get on the that dance floor time, and, and sort of totally switch momentum. Uh, Amy Purdy said that um, she was incredibly nervous um, to not be with Derek because Derek has just been just she didn't look nervous there. there. No. Not and even for a second. What I love is that Mark Ballas, who's been doing this for so many years, said that this was his favorite week ever on the show. And it was so moving to yeah, him. It must be fun for them to mix it up as well for the dancers. I think so. And then Drew Carey, really. I mean, he sparkled last night. I love what Bruno said about him. He said, you're the sugar daddy of showbiz. Look at him. <laughs> and then you can see why with the outfit. He said, your performance was somewhere between Elvis Presley and Liberace. And you made it work. I bet Drew Carey's never heard those words before. But no. He really did. He uh, had some gold lame there. But his moves were pretty great. Game, yeah. Look how good he looks. I know he feels good. He doesn't look like an old man. She was, when he was giving him a hard time last night, it was know. still fun. For the most I part, know. people, did, everybody <laughs> looked really comfortable yeah. with their new partners, and they're, they did a they're good just job. seemingly in their zone alone. So having the pros, well, maybe not. But I think people, a lot of people are going to be watching. No question. Tune in next Monday at 8, 7 Central. That is Dancing with the Stars.